Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Trevor Green. I'm the dentist at Piney Orchard Dental in Odenton, Maryland. And I'm recording this video today on Friday, March 19th, because um, my office is currently closed, like many dental offices across Maryland and across the country, uh, in order to help prevent the spread of the virus and also to keep our patients safe and our staff safe and our families safe. But I figured as long as I'm home, I might as well help share some of my dental knowledge and help parents who are home with their kids um, give a, a little dental practice lesson that they can do with their kids. Um, tonight actually was supposed to be the Piney Orchard Elementary School um, dance where they were gonna have a theme of candy and they invited me to come attend the dance and I was planning on giving lessons on how to brush teeth and give out toothbrushes at the dance. Unfortunately, we won't be having the dance tonight, but hopefully in the future we'll be able to. Um, in the meantime, I have some special helpers who are gonna help me teach how to brush our teeth um, and take care of them and floss them. My first helper is my older son. Say hi. Hi, I'm Elijah. This is Elijah. How old are you, Elijah? Seven. And what grade are you in? Fourth. And this is my younger son. This is? Nathan. And how old are you, Nathan? Four. And where do you go to school? Pre-K. Pre-K. Pre-K, yeah. So Elijah and Nathan are gonna help me teach how to brush teeth. Parents, you can watch this along with your kids if you want to, or you can watch it as a, a good resource on how to brush. And kids, you can learn how to brush by watching this video. The first thing I wanna talk about is why we brush our teeth. Yeah. The reason we brush our teeth is because everybody has germs in their mouth. You do, I do, the kids do, everybody has germs in their mouth, and we don't want germs. Yeah. The reason we don't want germs is because germs love to eat our favorite food. The germs' favorite food is sugar. So when the germs in our mouth eat sugar, they cause cavities. They actually make acid on our teeth. And that acid causes cavities. And we don't want to get cavities because cavities can hurt really bad and it doesn't make your teeth look nice. And obviously you don't want that. So in order to make sure that our teeth stay nice and healthy, we want to stay away from eating too much sugar. But if we do eat sugar, or even if we don't eat sugar, we want to clean all of those germs off. And there are two things we do to clean the germs off. The first one is we brush our teeth. The second thing is we floss our teeth. That helps clean off any food with sugar on it and it also helps clean the germs. And what I tell my patients is anybody who, Elijah, anybody who is um, uh, age, um, anybody who has any baby teeth and older wants to brush their teeth or have their parents brush their teeth two times a day and you want to floss your teeth once a day, starting at the point where your teeth are getting tight together or food starts to get stuck between the teeth. And every kid's a little bit different with that. Um, so brush first thing in the morning and last thing at night, and then floss one time a day. We floss our kids' teeth at night. So I, there is a correct way to floss and brush, and there's maybe not some so great ways to brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show with Nathan the correct way for me to brush his teeth. And then I'm gonna go with Elijah and Elijah's gonna brush his own teeth and we're gonna show how to brush your teeth together. So what I tell everybody is every tooth has three sides. And every time you want to brush your teeth, you wanna brush every side of your teeth. So each of the three sides on the top teeth and the bottom teeth. Here, come over here guys, I need your help. So the first side that every tooth has is the side you see when you smile. See, call it the smile side of your teeth. So that goes all the way to the back if you smile real big. The second side is what I call the chewing side. And you can see that when you uh, open up real big and you can see the chewing side. Uh, and then the last side is the hardest one to see and that's what I call the tongue side of your teeth. So there's your tongue. And the tongue side is the side that your tongue touches. So when you brush, make sure you brush all the three sides on all of your teeth. So let me show first, I'm gonna do that with Nathan. So for parents who are watching this, with a child starting when they first get their baby teeth, 
until they are able to um, spit too. reliably, you want to use fluoridated toothpaste. The ADA recommends <laughs> to use fluoridated toothpaste. There's lots of brands. You can use adult toothpaste or kids toothpaste, but you want to use about a grain of rice size of toothpaste. And this is what a grain of rice size of toothpaste looks like. So here is his toothbrush. And let's see, there's like a little bit on there, not much at all. So what I do with Nathan usually is I'll let him brush his teeth first. And if he swallows the toothpaste, that's okay. A little bit won't hurt him. Um, but just today for example purposes, I'm gonna brush his teeth. So he's standing on a stool right now. And what I like to do is stand right behind him so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm sort of standing next to him. Let me see if you can see. So I'm sort of standing right like this and I actually put my hand on top of his head to help stabilize him. Some parents like to sort of hold their kids like this when they're younger or even put them on a changing table when they're little babies and you can, you can sort of hold it with one hand when they're little babies and brush their teeth with the other hand. Or, or even like you can hold their hands away from their face and sort of get them in a headlock like this gently and brush their teeth. But Nathan's old enough now that he can stand still. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna brush Nathan's cheek side of his teeth. Can you give a big smile, Nathan? Say cheese. So put your teeth together, Nathan. And I'm gonna start all the way on one side and I'm just going in gentle circles. Keep your teeth together, close your teeth. And I'm going all the way around. Some kids have trouble with the front teeth, so make sure you get those nicely. You wanna make sure they stay nice and healthy. I'm brushing all the way up to the gum line and all the way down. And I'm sort of using my other hand, my left hand on top of his head to help control where his, his head is. So I went all the way around from one side to the other. Now I'm gonna do the chewing side of his teeth. Can you open up real big, Nathan? Ah, good job. And I'm brushing all the way in the back on one side and I'm going all the way around the front ones. And then I did all the way to the back on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go up to the top. You can see Nathan swallowing it between. That's totally fine as long as you use a little bit of toothpaste. You don't wanna to use too much. And I went all the way around on the chewing side. And there's one more side. Do you remember what it is? The eating side. Yeah, the tongue side. Yes. So we did the cheek side and the chewing side. Now we're doing that? the tongue side. This is the hardest one to get to and it does tickle a bit. You almost have to push your kid's tongue out of the way. And then the top one really tickles a lot, right? That tickle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're all done with brushing Nathan's teeth. Now we're gonna floss his teeth. So Nathan has all of his baby teeth in. He has 20 baby teeth. That's how many baby teeth you get. Four. And he doesn't have any loose teeth or anything because he's only four. But most of his teeth have a lot of space between them. Give him a big smile so they can see. Here, let me show you. Smile, smile, smile Nathan. Say cheese. See, he's got a lot of space between most of his teeth. If there's a lot of space and they don't get food caught there, you really don't need to floss it. But Nathan does have several teeth that are really tight together. So I'm gonna use a floss, flosser like this. You can buy these at Walgreens or Giant or Amazon. There's lots of different brands that are really good. Um, this is just one that I got. And you can reuse these dozens and dozens of times before they break. Um, what I'm gonna do with Nathan, I'm just flossing the teeth that are really tight together. So he has one right in the front, and this too, I, I let Nathan do it himself, and then I go back over it but not today for the video. So his front teeth in the very middle are tight together. So I just put it up there and pulled it back out. I'm not trying to saw his teeth. I'm just gently putting it between his teeth and pulling out to get any food out. So he has a couple molars in the back that are tight together. The top ones are hard to get. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm, it's not the best posture, but it's the only way to do it. I'm sort of bending over and going between his top teeth in the back. And there we go. Now Nathan's teeth are nice and clean. Thank you, Nathan. All right, now we're gonna show Elijah and Elijah is gonna brush his own teeth. So for a kid who can um, spit out their toothpaste themselves, um, they can use a little bit more toothpaste. So for Elijah, I'm gonna help him here. He actually has an adult toothbrush that I just gave him. And you can see it's got our information. Oops, upside down. It's got our information for Prandy Orchard Dental. So if you have any questions, you can give us a call. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna use about a pea-sized amount, maybe a little more on his toothbrush, because he's able to spit. So you can see how much I put in there. It's about the same amount an adult would want to use. Not like on toothpaste commercials, they gloop it on there. You don't, you don't need that much. Um, this is plenty. So Elijah's gonna take his toothbrush, and first he's gonna go around and brush all the, the cheek side of his teeth, the smiling side. So put your teeth together. Good, brush all the way, front to back, both sides, top and bottom. Make sure you get those front ones really good, really well. 
Keep rushing, keep rushing. Now we're gonna cut it short. Normally, the amount of time it takes to brush your teeth when you're a little bit older, it should be about two minutes. Just because nobody wants to sit here and watch brushing for two minutes, we're gonna cut a little short. So now's a good time to spit if you have too much toothpaste in your mouth. There you go. Now Elijah's gonna go ahead and brush the chewing side on the bottom, starting on one side. Start, press, press the chewing side, yeah, chewing side, starting the molars in the back. So the very back ones are called molars. Those are the biggest teeth. And then in front of those, he doesn't have them yet because he's seven, but you get premolars. And in front of that is canines, and then the middle ones are called incisors. So now he's brushing on the top teeth from the front to the back. <laughs> and when you have all of your adult teeth, which he does not have yet, you get 32 adult teeth. So you have 20 baby teeth and 32 adult teeth. Now he's gonna brush the tongue side teeth, which is the hardest one to get to because you can't really see it and it kind of tickles. It's really important to get all the way on the molars on the tongue side. See how he's going all the way back? Here, let me, let me help show. No, okay, you got it. And then the really, really hard spot to get because you can't see it is the tongue side of the top teeth. You wanna go ahead and do the tongue side of the top teeth so they can see? There you go, you're doing great. Good job. Yeah, keep going. There you go. All right, good job. So there you go. Um, now Elijah's gonna floss his teeth. Now for someone his age who has, he has about half adult teeth and half baby teeth, you do wanna floss all of your teeth. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna start on one side of his mouth down here and then floss every single tooth all the way around. So go ahead, Elijah. That way he can make sure he doesn't miss any. I think what he does, he sort of bites it which is okay. Now the key with flossing, the mistake a lot of people make, is they saw their teeth with the floss. Same with adults. You don't want to do that. You want to go up and down with the flossers. If you use regular string floss, you just go up and down, up and down, up and down, not because that just hurts you. Now, if you have any questions about this, you can definitely um, send me a message. On, I'm going to post this on the Piney Orchard Dental Facebook page. Um, you can post any questions you have underneath there. If any kids have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, you can email our office if you want to at pineyorcharddental at gmail.com. That's P-I-N-E-Y-O-R-C-H-A-R-D. Piney Orchard Dental, D-E-N-T-A-L at gmail.com. And we'll respond back as soon as possible. And if you have any dental emergencies, so we're, we're closed for regular elective treatment like cleanings and fillings, things like that, that can wait. But if you have any dental emergencies, your, your tooth is hurting a whole lot or someone falls down and breaks a tooth and is really hurting or anyone has something that's really, really getting swollen, they're really worried about it or a, a, you know, a tooth breaks and it just really doesn't feel right, you can call us, call the office phone number. The office phone number is 443 Four zero six six eight eight four. Again, it's four four three four zero six six eight eight four. And my personal cell phone number is on there. You can reach me. Um, we'll do everything we can to help you. If it's a really bad emergency, I would much much rather you come in and see me at the office, and I will come in and see you than go into the emergency room. The emergency rooms are super busy right now. Um, and you don't want to go there if you have a tooth emergency. So if you have a tooth emergency, let me know. I will come into the office and see you and help you out as best as I possibly can. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If anybody has any questions or, or follow-up videos they'd like me to make, I'm not doing anything right now other than hanging out with the kids and doing school at home, just like I'm sure many of you are. Um, you know, give, give us a call or post on our Facebook page, on the Piney Orchard Dental Facebook page, and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching our video. Elijah, say bye. Bye. Nathan, say bye. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.